<clears throat> time to find some content for the old YouTube channel. Uh, uh. Yep. Yep. Are you tired of slow pump action shot? Wait a minute. Are you tired of slow, garbage weapons like this scythe? Did you sit on the buddy bench as a kid? Well then, the axe might just be for you. With hours of skilled gameplay and millions of exciting combos, you'll be a level 100 Taros God in no time. So you might ask, my sniper god, how do I become an axe man? Well, the first thing you need is a fucking shower, because chances are that if you're watching a Moist Sniper God video, your parents named you Cletus, and you smell like a dung beetle. And no, spraying Axel over your body pillow and giving it a hug does not count. So please, use this opportunity to take a fucking bath, or of course, if it's your first time on the channel, why not take this moment to smash that subscribe button? My analytics actually show that all my viewers are just me on different iPads that I have lying around the house, which have YouTube installed on them. So why not help change that, and see if you can hit the like button and the subscribe button at the same time. What a fun game! Yay! Now, you might have gotten so wrapped up in that fun challenge that you forgot this was an axe guide. But after this masterpiece, you'll be folding diamonds in a rank like it's nothing. So let's start with some basics of the weapon. The axe is a slow, hard-hitting weapon, which means the best way to use it is to go in for a quick combo and then run away. Some combos I would recommend for this would be satellite and air. Satellite and air. And if you're feeling extra jiggy with it, satellite and air into recovery, which is actually true in gold up to 700%. But one cannot attack from the ground alone. One must also jump for 20 minutes, then dare. Gandhi. The axe has more than just broken moves on the ground. This weapon of champions can also attack from the above, hence the Gandhi quote. Although there are not a lot of true combos out of dare, you end up with a lot of half combos that have a pretty high chance of working. For example, if you land dare on Taros, you can do an NSIG to the left, and you have about a 50-50 chance that they didn't dodge to the right, and an even higher chance that your opponent calls you sick spamming trash garbage get a life, you not very nice word, at the end of the match. Now, this might hurt your feelings a little, but you gotta remember that this dude is on the fat cap, because he knows that you're gonna be the one balling out the wazoo with all that glory at the end of the season, and he's going to cry himself to sleep with some Ben and Jerry's as he stares at his gold border. Now, unlike that guy, you're going to sleep with a clean 1700 elo. Your only life problems now are getting the ladies in single file. However, in this video, I promised you easy diamond, and at this point, you're probably still using jump to aim up. So if you want to play with the big boys, you're going to have to first of all turn that shit off, and then go off stage. Going off stage with X is about as easy as cross country skiing with a snowmobile. My recommended strategy would be to literally just go back to stage, since your recovery covers about half the screen, and your opponent will probably just run into it, then smash his monitor so hard that he forgot what he was doing. However, if you're above 500 ELO, then you might want to try this new strat called doing jump dare over and over again until your opponent jumps off the edge in real life and brawlhalla. At this point, you're probably set for the pro level, but there's one key thing missing. Friendship. You're not getting good at Brahola for the ELO, it's so you can flex on all your friends with that new crazy combo and call them easy trash. Maybe it's that girl you want to impress, or maybe it's because you want your revenge on that fat tumbleweed that they're putting at your face in third grade. Fuck you, Joey. But the point is, you're going to have to master the 2v2 axe. Now, since your teammates are about as useful as a cardboard riot shield, you're not going to be doing any of that team combo cringe garbage because that's for nerds. Just tell your friend to unbound his light attack key, and put his brain on the default setting. And all that, make sure to tell him to subscribe to Moist Sniper God as you break the low cap.